Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to talk about the how to take a Modbus data into the Wonderware system platform but in this case I use uh, a system system platform Wonderware AFEFA system platform uh, 2020 so I have installed this uh, AFEFA Wonderware system platform 2020 but uh, by default if we look at the uh, system platform management console I'm gonna open this uh, we wait for a while so if you see here there is on the local there's only two the application here or the driver by default installed by uh, system platform 2020 so we have to install uh, the Modbus uh, TCP driver to the system for the system working so we gotta take this you have to look at, uh, this is can be downloaded from the uh, Wonder website or yeah, on the website. In case you don't have, you can create account, and then you can find the driver communication. And one of them is this uh, Modbus TCP. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna install first. So for information, I installed uh, the system in Windows Server 2020. So. okay the driver already installed now we can open the mud bus uh, uh, no, we open the SMC system uh, management console I'm gonna open the pins to start okay now we see that uh, the MBTCP is already installed in here and then it's it means that the red node is means this is an inactive so we have to start after we configure this device so before we go through this uh, so make sure the driver mod bus TCP is inst installed in the uh, system and then you can look at the, in the system management console then the we're gonna use the uh, IP address for communication and then the port of the Modbus devices and the slave ID is uh, 255 okay so now I'm gonna right click here and add the CP port connection I'm gonna say this a Modbus okay so and then again I right click here I'm sorry right click and then add Modbus PLC connection because I will use a mod sim. I'm gonna say this as a mod sim, and then uh, I'm gonna use the local host uh, connection. So in this case, my IP is here. I'm gonna paste this in, and I'm gonna use whatever port you want here. So. I will use something like 555 right so and I'm gonna open this uh, matsim to see how it looks so the connection itself we're gonna use the Matbus DCP server we're gonna connect to 555 on the Matbus mod, uh, simulate, simulator and then we open new and we want to have a display floating point some case so the device ISD we will set to 255 okay so uh, we're gonna run this as a you know some simulation value something like that we will update the value each two seconds or something like that one second whatever you want and just hit OK and the value running we minimize this first and then as we set on the mod same 
we will connect to the port number to uh, 555 okay and then the the so this is a five digit re uh, register so we can use here five digit and then we click on save and after the rest we are gonna go to the device group we add a topic so this is uh, we'll, we will uh, use this topic name on the uh, uh, window on the Wonderware HMI so uh, by default I'm gonna use topic 0 something like that I, I think so so no problem and then we're gonna use this item so uh, the item itself it's uh, we're gonna add for example we add one item this is this name is uh, based on your device uh, whether the for example the the register for for zero zero one floating uh, floating it must be two register taken 32 register so it will bind to take whatever you want for example uh, I'm gonna make it clear this is a floating floating data and then this is a will bind for tech something like uh, uh, maybe PT101 for something like that right so we're gonna use this name on the name itself okay and then the item refer the, the item reference is go to the 40001 space you have to add F because it means this is a floating point okay so so if you want to add a multiple register uh, in into the uh, into this device system so you can simply right click and then we're gonna export this first for something like CSV and then we open the CSV file in here you see this is just a simple as uh, this two only so, so we might have uh, something like 101 and then so because uh, the two register uh, register 4001 and 2 it's used by the PT101 so we're gonna use the 3 4 so it must be start from 3 okay and then uh, the next maybe we can add one more tag maybe TT101 and then this is shall be 5 oops sorry 5 okay because it's taken 5 and 6 okay so we're gonna delete this and we're gonna save this first and close and we go come back to the SMC just right click and then import the mod same CSV and then it shall automatically shown like this okay now uh, we have uh, the tech uh, setup so I'm gonna click save okay and then we're gonna close oh we're gonna start this driver first okay now it's running so we're gonna minimize this we'll open the Aviva in touch HMI uh, I will uh, open from the application manager so we're gonna create a new uh, new applications so we will use a empty native application and then next and I will say this is a test HMI something like that and then the screen size by default so you can go wrong and then go fast so 
so I use a demo mode so uh, this is just a demo runtime so I will create a new window say here from window a new window I'm going to say this uh, main page or something like that right so uh, I I use this uh, for ex just in case for example this is just in case so I'm going to go faster and then we're going to uh, take a uh, text I'm going to put in here uh, I'm going to put a uh, uh, spawn sign, bond sign, something like this and then we will bind this uh, uh, this variable into the tag uh, tag that we have created on this SMC before. But first, we're gonna add the access name on the uh, application. So the access name, you can double click on the access name and then add. We're gonna say the access name is Marpas. Note name is localhost, so I can, uh, I can leave it uh, as it is. And application name, I uh, this is the application name that we use on the SMC. So it, it is the driver name itself, MBTCP, and the name of topic is topic zero. Okay, and then I close this and close. So now uh, we're gonna add some tag. Uh, on this access name so we need to create new but before we already add uh, some device uh, some name item name on the SMC so this is a PT101 and the type of this name is IO real and the access name I'm gonna use a mod bus okay close so because I already defined this inside the SMC item and they refer to the 40001 register so I don't need to define this anymore so I just use tag name as an item name okay right so I'm going to close this and I'm going to save for it save it first and I'm going to add a new one like T T. Well, FT, I'm sorry. FT101. FT101. So the type is still IO real, and then I just click the save, new. And this is uh, TT101. okay done so if we click select all of the item take name already added to the system so we don't need to define the address anymore and we're gonna close this and I'm gonna bind this into the tech name for example this is an analog but in here I'm gonna double click and then I'm looking for the tech name that I want to bind it with this variable so for this case a PT101 and this is a, a format that we want we want to fix decimal for example we want to have a four digits uh, decimal uh, so I'm just click OK and then click OK then we save it all and we go to runtime so if we, as we see here this is already running and then we can see on the same also the values updated uh, okay now we try to simulate uh, another value uh, so we can see the, the value changes uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna change the value instead of uh, auto sim uh, simulation so I'm gonna say uh, some value and then update this and afterwards we're gonna add uh, we're gonna update some value in here also and then update okay uh, now we're gonna add uh, another register to the uh, in touch HMI okay so we go back to the uh, window maker 
and then we open the window that we've made before and then I just simply copy paste uh, the variable and then we get we just need to substitute this text so the text 2 is a uh, um, see here this is a uh, f2101 copy that into here and then as well this one also I'm going to substitute the text also so the value in here dt102 and then we add it and I don't need to come back to the animation link because I've already added the animation link based on the so I'm going to say well and we so here you can see the tag is already updated based on the uh, tag that we have updated the value so thanks for watching this uh, video uh, I hope this video is very very useful for you okay thanks a lot goodbye